Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can easily add text to a PDF using Acrobat. To do this, open a document in Acrobat and then select the Add Text tool that appears in the Content Editing panel within the Tools pane in the Task pane. The mouse pointer changes into a text insertion point when you hold it over the PDF document. Click within the document at the spot where you want to add text and type the new text. You can also copy and paste text from another document or application once you have clicked to define a text insertion point. By default, Acrobat will apply the formatting options which are currently selected in the content editing panel to your text. To adjust the appearance of the text, select the text to adjust and then use the format tools that appear in the content editing panel to change the way that it looks. You can also click on the border of the text box before applying changes using the tools in the format section of the content editing panel to apply those changes to all of the text within the box versus formatting only selected text within the box. Within the Format section of the Content Editing panel of the Tools pane and the Task pane, the Font drop-down lets you change the font used. The Font Size drop-down lets you adjust the size of the text. You can click the Font Color box to select the color of the text from a drop-down menu that appears. You can select the Bold, Italic, or underline button to both apply and remove bolding, italics, or underlining to the text. You can click one of the alignment buttons to align the text within the text box. The choices are left align, center align, right align, or justify align. You can also apply superscript and subscript to selected text by clicking either the superscript or subscript buttons. To show more formatting options, you can click the small More Format button that looks like a plus sign in the upper right corner of the Format section to expand the buttons within this section. You can then use the Line Spacing drop-down to set line spacing within the text box. The Character Spacing drop-down allows you to set the character spacing of the selected text. The Horizontal Scaling drop-down allows you to set the horizontal scaling of the text. The Stroke Width drop-down allows you to set the width of the stroke outline of the characters within the selected text. You can click the Stroke Color box to select the color of the stroke outline if one is applied by choosing it from the drop-down menu that appears. Note that the Outline, Text, and Images checkbox must be checked for the Stroke Width and Stroke Color tools to be effective. Now, if desired, you can click the Less Format button, which looks like a minus sign shown in the upper right corner of the Format section, to hide the optional formatting buttons once again. Now, to resize the text box, place your mouse pointer directly over the resizing handles which look like small squares on the border of the text box until your mouse pointer turns into a double pointed arrow. When it looks like that you can click and drag in either direction shown by the arrows until it fits within the space that you want. Note that you may not be able to vertically resize a text box as the height of the text box is often determined by the number of lines of text that it contains. Also note that resizing a text box will often move the text box within the PDF page, so you may need to manually reposition the text box after changing its size. 
To rotate a text box, place your mouse pointer right next to one of the resizing handles of the text box until your mouse pointer shows a looping arrow symbol. At that point, click and drag up or down to rotate the text within the box. Then release the mouse button to set the rotation of the text. To move a text box, place your mouse pointer over the border or bounding box of the text box until your mouse pointer turns into a four-pointed arrow cross. At that point, click and drag to begin moving the text box. The location to which the text box will be moved will be shown as a highlighted area as you click and drag. When it's in the desired location, release the mouse button to move it to a new location. When you have the text the way that you like, you can click the Selection Tool button within the Common Tools toolbar to set the text within the text box and turn off the Add Text tool. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.